Hey, sweet puppy. <laughs> You're so cute. Hi guys, thank you so much for joining me today for another video. So today I figured I would do a video talking to you guys about my top five favorite red lipsticks and I thought this is just something that would be fun. I've always struggled with red lipsticks and like not thinking that they look good on me or I could pull it off but I finally come to a point where I really really love red lipsticks and I do want to share my top five favorite red lipsticks with you guys. So before we get into it though, if you are new Welcome! I'm so glad that you are here. I do encourage you to join the Birth of Beauty family because we really are a good bunch. Alright, let's jump right in. So the first red lipstick that I want to talk to you guys about is the Burt's Bees lipstick. It's in the shade Ruby Ripple. It comes in packaging like this, very Burt's Bees. And it's just a regular like lipstick bullet. I feel like this is like the type of red lipstick that would be good for anyone that's trying to venture out into wearing red lipstick but they don't want to quite commit to like a matte bold red lip. This is a little more sheer. It's glossy. It's hydrating. It's really comfortable. I don't think it's as long lasting as I would want it to be but it's definitely like a beginner friendly kind of red. I feel like this is super super easy easy no fuss kind of red lipstick you probably need a liner with this red lipstick just because it's you know comes in a bullet and it's gonna be a little hard to get those crisp sharp lines but if you want to just you know kind of have like that natural red lip that isn't too like crisp and bold and boom in your face then I bet you could just use it without a liner anyway but if you don't want to worry about the lipstick running outside the lines of your lips then I would suggest wearing a liner with it. The next red lipstick is actually a CoverGirl red lipstick. It's the Melting Pout Gel Liquid Lipstick in the shade Gel, yes. And I've done actually a review on this particular product, I think like this past summer, early in the summer. And I remember just really, really being struck by how comfortable this lipstick is and how bold the pigment is. Is. like it's super pigmented yet shiny and very comfortable and plush on your lips and the applicator is actually my favorite part so it has an angled plush comfortable kind of lipstick applicator and you just kind of squeeze the product out and you know it's kind of like those standard like gloss applicators but it's got that nice sharp edge on the applicator that it helps create those sharp lines on your lips so you don't even need like a liner to create those sharp lines you can just use this particular product and I feel like it's so easy you can just throw it in your purse whenever you want like a comfortable but sharp and crisp bold red lip you can just pull this out and give yourself one I do not think that this is a very long-lasting lipstick it's kind of shiny it's got like a satin almost glossy finish it's not gonna be as like long-lasting like a liquid lipstick that's matte and just like pretty much freezes onto your lips it's gonna be different from that it's gonna be like a satin liquid lipstick so I really do enjoy it I feel like the color is so bright and it just brings life to your face the next red lipstick that I want to talk about is a NARS lip pencil It's actually called the velvet matte lip pencil in the shade Cruella and this was actually a Sephora like birthday gift so I think it was like maybe a couple years ago maybe more than that like three almost four years ago I think this was like a Sephora monthly or Sephora birthday gift and this was the very first red lipstick that made me fall in love with reds and made me think that I could actually pull off red lipstick at that time I didn't really understand that I needed to have a flawless base that covers any sort of pigmentation in order to make the red look very beautiful on your face I've always been on the search for 
for the perfect red lipstick and oftentimes not finding much luck with it because I would just use it without any foundation. I would just apply it on my lips and just feel like everything was kind of messy, not very clean. And that was simply because the red in the lipstick was drawing out all the pigmentation on my skin. So now that I know that I have to have a flawless base, I love like all sorts of reds. This one in particular really made me love red lipstick. It made me really feel like I could pull it off. And it's got a very smooth gliding kind of feel. Very smooth, very soft, incredibly buttery. It's got a deeper tone than the other two red lipsticks that I talked about. I feel like it's such a classic kind of color. It's very comfortable and smooth on your lips. It feels super nice. But I figured it's really worth a mention because it's a red lipstick that made me realize how much I love red lipstick and that I could pull off red lipstick. It's such a special little red lipstick. <laughs> Alright, so I'm moving on to the liquid lipstick territory. Of course, I love wearing liquid lipsticks when I really want them to stay put and not budge. And one of the red liquid lipsticks that I really enjoy wearing is the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquefied Matte Longwear <laughs> Lipstick in the shade Lady Balls. And I feel like this is such a classic red. It makes you look so va va voom. And if you want to create sharp lines you can do that with a doe foot applicator it's a little bit challenging so I would still use a liner with this the only thing is like it's smelling kind of funky after like one year so that's kind of weird to me maybe I need to throw this one out and get a new one it stays true to its name melted matte it is a matte liquid lipstick so it's not as comfortable to wear it might be a little you know a little drying than I would like it to be but if I really wanted to stay put I do like wearing this one and I feel like this color is so good. Okay, so the last and final red lipstick I want to talk to you guys about is, no surprise, it's a ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip. And this is in the shade Star Cross. So I came across this product uh, when I did like my lip swatch video back in November. And I fell in love. This, oh my god. This red makes me feel really glamorous. It makes me feel pretty. Like, that's a good sign in a red lipstick if it makes you feel really pretty. And I feel like this is like a very true red color. The applicator is really easy to create those like beautiful crisp lines. I feel like the formula is so beautiful, uh, especially with the new formula. It feels like very smooth, not too thick, super pigmented. Pigmented. This is the red lipstick that I'm wearing right now. I feel like, you know, it makes my teeth look pretty nice and white and it's a very true red, beautiful, super elegant color. So I love wearing this lipstick. It's way more comfortable than the previous Ultra Matte Lip uh, formulas that I tried and I feel like it's really like thin. It has a tiny bit of transfer but I feel like that's totally worth it for this like added comfort that this liquid lipstick gives me. Like the previous formulas are super drying and I just couldn't handle it. <laughs> but with these I feel like I can. Like they're really comfortable and I love them and they're still really long lasting so I really really love this one. Did I say that about all five of the lipsticks? <laughs> I mean that's kind of the point right? They're my favorites. <laughs> Alright guys so that's it for my top five favorite red lipsticks and I hope you guys enjoyed watching it and just seeing what kind of red lipsticks I like wearing for different occasions and for those of you right now thinking that you can't pull off red I'm here to tell you right now that yes, you can trust me. I don't think there's like anybody that can't pull off a red lipstick. You just need the right technique, the right shade, uh, just kind of, you know, going with your undertone and the flawless base for you to pull off a red lipstick. That's certainly what worked for me and I have no doubts that that would work for you. So I do urge you to give red another try because you would look so stunning in it. You know, I'm kind of like a lipstick junkie, so I'm always on the lookout for, you know, new lip products to try out. So please be sure to let me know what your favorite red lipsticks are in the comments below. Again, if you're new, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you watching to the end of this video. Video? 
<laughs> video, I do encourage you to join the Birth of Beauty family if you haven't already. And make sure you click on the notification bell because you gotta find your way back to me in this big YouTube world and the notification bell will be sure to bring you back to me. With all of that said, Remember you guys, you are beautiful, amazing, marvelous. No matter what anybody else tries to tell you and please remember I'm always rooting for you and I'm really, really grateful that we are friends. All right guys, thank you guys again so much for watching and I'll hopefully see you in my next one. Bye.